Indian meal planning for working moms, easy meal prep ideas. It isn't easy to be a working mom, to juggle a career, home and kids all at once with the same vigor and dedication is not a cakewalk. Preparing a healthy meal, keeping in mind the many preferences, choices and a balanced diet to keep the nutrients in check is a job in itself. Many working women admit that they spend a good chunk of their time figuring out what to cook. Here are 5 steps to help you with your meal planning. First step, plan your shopping. Make a list of groceries, vegetables and fruits required for a week. While writing this list down, you will have a fair idea of what can be prepared for breakfast, lunch and dinner. Include seasonal veggies and fruits and staple pulses. Learn which of them can be stored for a longer time and which won't survive the week. Second, make a schedule for the three main meals. Once your shopping is done and the pantry is stocked, plan your week. Decide beforehand what you can make for breakfast and two other meals. This saves time on your busy working days. It also avoids certain dishes being repeated throughout the week. Choose easier but healthier options. For example, if it is bread omelette for Monday, make it leaves on Tuesday and dosas on Wednesday. When you are pressed for time, all you need is to look at the list and get going. On your off days or weekends, you can make some delicacies and special recipes. Third, make and store some ingredients. Indian meal preparations requires a lot of prep work. Chopping, slicing, dicing, making a paste, pickling, etc. Though your habits can push you to start from the scratch, you can save a lot of time if you approach cooking a bit intelligently. Make those paste, curry bases and pickles beforehand. Maybe on your weekends or buy them and store it in your fridge as per your convenience. Nowadays, you get to buy peeled garlic, corn and shallots. Ginger garlic paste, red curry paste, mint chutney, sweet chutney, mayonnaise, certain sauces, salad dressing etc. A few of those essential mixes that can be made or bought. Fourth, learn to recycle the leftovers. It is quite normal to have leftovers from dinner or lunch and many times they end up in the trash bin. It is painful to watch. Not everything needs to be thrown away. You can recycle them into something new with some experience and charm. Tip 1. If there are vegetables left in the fridge, fix a quick salad with a nice dressing or dip. Carry it to your office or give it to your children for lunch. Tip 2. Leftover bread and idlis can be transformed into upma. Slices of bread and chapatis can be remodeled into homemade pizza or whole wheat noodles. Just chop them, slice them and do your magic. Tip 3. Stir fry veggies or meat roast chicken or mutton curry. Use them to make your own street style rolls or sandwiches or even cutlets. Tip 4. Rice from yesterday's dinner can become a delicious fried rice, lemon rice or pulao. Tip 5. If there are fruits lying in the basket, add them to your pancakes, smoothies, juices or make a funky fruit salad. Tip 6. Leftover milk can become homemade curd, curd can become paneer. 5. Invest in some cookery lessons. Learn to make easy to fix recipes like poha, pongal, kichdi, types of omelette, varieties of dosas and chutneys, parathas, pancakes, pulavs to add to the diversity. Many of them have less preparation time and are nutritious too. You don't have to be a chef to whip up something delicious. Explore more options and trust your mom instinct to plan a balanced diet for yourself and your family.